you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is sharon please subscribe before watching today we are going to be looking at future value of uneven cash flows uneven cash flows it's when cash flows are not uniform they are not the same every year has its own cash flows and it's determined by summing up the net cash flows so future value equals to for year one it's always a just a then for year two it's a into brackets one plus r power one then for year three it's the same thing but you 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 just deduct three minus one so the power is two for year four it's four minus one so the the, the power is three it's like that let's look at an example BSA and company is willing to deposit 500,000, 1 million, 1.5, 2 million, and 2.5 shillings at the end of each year. So that's the annuity. It's the amount of money that will be deposited each year. The saying calculates the future value at the end of the fifth year, compounded annually when the interest is charged. When the interest charged is 5% per annum. So our in is five years and our interest is five percent per annum from our question our n is five and our cash flows for year one it's five hundred thousand for year two it's one million for year three it's one million five hundred thousand for year four is two million and for year five it's two million five hundred thousand and our interest rate is five percent so we are going to draw a table this time around and we are going to be calculating one by one so we shall draw five columns period cash flows future value interest factor and our interest is five percent then the future value that we are looking for for year one our cash flows we had five hundred thousand we put it there then future value interest factor you we are going to calculate it using this formula one plus i into brackets then n minus one in year one our n is one and when we subtract one we shall remain with zero so we shall say one plus our i is 0 0.05 into brackets power zero and any number to power zero is one yes yeah, so in order for us to get the uh, future value that we are looking for we shall multiply cash flows times the future value interest factor which is one and we shall get five hundred thousand and that is for year one then for year two year two our cash flows in year two is one million then future value interest factor one plus i into brackets power n minus one and in year two our n is two when we subtract one we shall get one so one plus 0 0.05 power one it when you mod when you add it's 1.05 yeah so in order for us to get the future value that we are looking for we shall multiply the cash flows which is 1 million times 1.05 and we shall get 1 million 50 thousand that is the future value in year two then for year three in year three our cash flows we have one million five hundred thousand then the future value interest factor one plus i into brackets n minus one in year three our n is three so when we subtract one we shall remain with two so it's one plus zero point zero five power two yeah and when you use the calculator you get 1.1025 yeah in order for us to get the future value we shall multiply cash flows times the future value interest factor so 1,500,000 times 1.1025 we shall get 1,653,700 650 shillings and that will be the future value in year three in year four our cash flows are two million then the future value interest factor we shall use the formula one plus i into brackets n minus one in year four our n is four 
when we subtract 1, we shall get power 3. So we shall get 1 plus 0 0.05 power 3. When you use a calculator, you get 1.158. Then we shall multiply 2 million times 1.158 in order for us to get the future value. So it will be 2 million 316,000 and that will be the future value future value in year 4. Then in year 5, in year 5 our cash flows we have 2,500,000 future value interest factor it's 1 plus i into brackets n minus 1 and in year 5 our n is 5 so when we subtract 1 we shall get power 4 and when we use a calculator 1 plus 0 0.05 power 4 we get 1.2 one six and when we multiply we shall get three million forty thousand and that will be the cash flows the future value cash flows in year five so in order for us to get the cash flows at the end of the fifth year we shall add the cash flows future value cash flows for year one year two year three year four and year five and we shall get eight million five hundred fifty nine thousand seven hundred fifty and that's what they asked for thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment yeah and watch my next video we shall be talking about present value of a lump sum